Hello, thank you for joining us today. I'm joined by my guest, Ashley McKellar from Agent Hub. Hello, Ashley, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, Ashley, you're joining me today to talk about um, some of the problems that you guys help agents to, to solve or that you solve for agents. Um, and, and all of these features that you, you have are all sort of designed to, to streamline the general process that agents go down. Um, anybody that caught the first um, interview that you did with Simon will know that the really cool thing about Agent Hub and your CRM system is that it can be built to to really to adapt to the to the to what the agents need. Um, it's a very very flexible system. It's built on a um, Salesforce uh, platform that you can you can almost unlimited. Um, applications you can make with it but as with everything it's only so you are only so limited in terms of time and where you'll put your development and so you've come up with a fan, what i think is a fantastic idea it made me smile the minute you mentioned it before but because one of the things that i think sometimes actually is so lacking in the industry is that agents do give their suppliers feedback they say look i wish that this could happen i wish your system did X, Y, Z. And if you're lucky, the best that sometimes you get is that your supplier is extremely nice about it. And they say, oh, yeah, we'll think about doing that in the future. But they never really come back to you on it. But you guys have, have actually taken this concept and created it into what you, you call the ideas hub. So tell us a little bit about, about that and how it might work. So one thing that was quite apparent to us is that for every customer that we took on you know everybody loves the salesforce platform they like what the system can do and can achieve and everybody wants to add their own little spin to it now it's almost a blessing and a curse because everybody wants all of this great customization but then it's the customization that takes the longest part of this of the process right so what we thought of is you know what let's we we want to we want to build what everybody wants, but what you end up doing is you end up building ten different things for twenty five different customers, and you know you're stretched. You know your resources are stretched. Your the development guys are stretched. So what we came up with is an idea hub where everybody can put their ideas up. Right? Yeah. If it's top secret, unfortunately, you might have to share it with somebody. Right? But you, everybody can put their put their ideas up. And then with those ideas, their peers can vote on it, right? So we put up our roadmap so we can actually angle our roadmap to make sure that we're, we're building the right thing because we'll build something and we'll feel like it's the greatest development ever. And, you, you know, you go to a customer's org on a Monday and they'll be like, yeah, so um, about that left, can it make it turn right? Yeah. <laughs> and that kind of thing. So, yeah, idea, the idea hub is essentially for the industry to put their ideas and their suggestions forward on on where we should be directing our, our development on our roadmap and also something that they might want to see or things that they've discovered along their journey um, and then everybody can vote on it and what whatever's got the most votes for the quarter or for the month we will we, we'll guarantee that we'll put it into production for the next release and we'll build on that so basically what whatever's upvoted to those top top say three whatever it may be, ideas, um, you guys will get working on that and try and roll it out as soon as you can. Exactly, exactly that. Fantastic. It's, it's a really interesting, it's a really interesting add on because not only are you um, creating a platform that you can receive the feedback of your agents, but you're actually allowing a little bit of collaboration between those agents because they get to see each other's ideas a little bit but also they all get to have consensus on what the best ideas are and so genuinely only the best stuff gets built which is is a great way of honing your product really isn't it yeah so i, I feel like a lot of the time agents want things that are similar you know we, we we've been on journeys where we have two agents that uh, know each other and know the platform or what it's capable of, but they want to do like a joint build, but they want things that are slightly different. And it would be great if if the joint build was 
was there at standard and then they could just do their customizations that they wanted to. So I feel like it's a great way for everybody to get a piece of what they want while still having, you know, the capability to just just tweak it a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's superb, it's superb. And some of the other innovations that you're making um, are, are where all CRMs that service the property industry are headed because let's face it, we all receive a lot of leads um, and particularly in a very busy market that we've just experienced both for sales and for rentals. One of the things that agents seem to sort of be drowning in um, is, is the actual number of inquiries that they're getting per property is, is huge and potentially could be a full-time job just to even try and return those calls or to try and work out which of those lead inquiries that they're getting, be that from, you know, right move on the market, Zoopla, it could, it could be any of, uh, any of the portals, um, to try and sort of work your way through that volume of, of inquiries and to work out which of those are worth responding to. Um, but with Lead Bank, you guys have found a way to consolidate all of it so that it's all coming into one place and it's all dealt with efficiently. Just explain to us what Lead Bank aims to do. So the new agent hub Lead Bank, I mean, every CRM will bring your, your leads in, right? And we was doing exactly the same thing, bringing your leads in, bringing your inquiries into the system. But now with the new agent hub Lead Bank, what it does is it, it's almost like two builds in one. So the Lead Bank will show you all of your leads that are in the system. Uh, most importantly, it will show you the last contacted, the next contacted, ones that are missing contact dates, ones that have got tasks open. We'll show you properties that match to them in your system by percentage. So they'll come in looking for a one bedroom flat in, the, in London Bridge. And then you can create, it, the system will automatically create a requirement for one bedroom flats. Yeah. And then it will show you every one bedroom flat around the same price, give or take up and, up, up and down percentages, right? And they show you properties that match by percentage. So that's one. Um, every every lead that comes into this system now automatically gets sent a set of qualification questions. Seven simple questions that a tenant, a vendor, a buyer, anybody can answer. <clears throat> but those seven questions will tell you a whole story. So by the time they've answered those seven questions, you've got 90% of what you need. The other 10% is obviously you're gonna get on the phone and, and, and make, make, make it happen. But then the system will, strategize and put all of your contacts into the ones that have been qualified or not qualified right show you the answers to the questions show you what properties they come in with interest on but show you what properties match outside of what they've looked at yeah you That's know really smart and then also it will show you the leads that have come in for each property ones that are qualified and not qualified where they've come from and so on and so forth superb so that allows you to then work out where you you tackle what you tackle first really because let's face it you're going to deal with all inquiries that come through but you can prioritize the ones that are likely to sort of lead to definable business i suppose not only can you prioritize but you have to remember they they're getting communication as soon as they send in that inquiry yeah so theoretically you're already in communication with them right? You can send them text messages, send them WhatsApp from the lead bank. You can send them automatic emails from the lead bank. They're already in communication with you. And then yes, you can finish off that, you know, that process, maybe book a view and a book evaluation, what you need to do. It's fantastic. Really fantastic. And one of the, the, the other things that you um, have started to do and, and off camera, we spoke about uh, the legacy of of an old older system that I used to use. It was the first system I ever used for property management. And when I mention these three letters, everybody will know what I'm talking about. But we spoke about um, CFP. But you guys have have really um, sort of upped the level of um, client accounting and management that you're able um, to offer uh, agents. Um, and you've learned a few tricks from people that spent many, many years honing that. So tell us a little bit about your client accounting. So some of the team members or previous team members of CFP have, uh, and some of the key people have really given us a helping hand in rebuilding our client accounts and uh, taking that to the next level, which is fantastic because 
now you effectively have a, a full client account system within a Salesforce platform, which again has never been done before, you know, um, and just the way that we're able to show records, reconcile records, um, show, show our ledgers, pr print PDFs from our ledgers, generate C CSVs from reconciliation records, um, and all that doubled up with auto automated and standard dashboards of your of your portfolio at a glance, income at a glance, your fees at a glance, your NRLs, you know, showing you you know what's due in from Q1 all the way to Q4, what you've held back. The only thing you can't do, as I said before, uh, hopefully we get that cracked by December is uh, your, your NRL sixes, but we'll make it happen. So there's a lot going on at Agent Hub, guys. Um, definitely one of the forward thinking uh, companies that are making a lot of changes to suit their clientele and to really, it, it's an evolving product, isn't it? It's something that you guys, because of the flexibility of your platform, you're able to constantly improve it and, and, and make it reflect what it is that an agent wants it to do. There's always something going on. There's always something or someone in the pipeline that we're speaking to. But this year has honestly been uh, a massive, massive involvement in in a property CRM built on the Salesforce platform. And yeah. uh, even the guys that, you know, we regularly have our meetings with our team at Salesforce directly. And they're like, wow, you know, <laughs> they just don't see, it. they can't see it from a property point of view until it lands in the system, until it lands in the package. And then well, they're like, oh yeah, okay. I think, uh, I think 2020 to 2021 um, definitely been a massive, because of everything that's been going on, it's been a huge accelerator in the marketplace, but it's also been a huge accelerator in innovation as well. And, you know, it's because of companies like yourselves, um, you have this vision to constantly improve your product. So uh, you're, you're keeping up with, with what the market needs and, um, and it's constantly evolving the way that we work, uh, and making it more efficient. Ashley, thank you very much for your time. All of your details and your, um, deals can be found on kfuffle.com. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.